Hello guys, it is Hunter. Long time no see on this channel. I tell you what, it's literally Wednesday. I've missed a week. I'm so, so sorry about that. But anyway, for today's video, I have this book I got uh, a couple years ago, maybe. Um, a year ago, something like that. Um, hang on, let me pull the sticker off. So I was at the bookstore and I literally just saw this book and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this because it's literally urban like words like street words that kind of stuff so for today's video i'm just going to look in this book and just read some stuff to you guys and see if you guys have ever heard of any of this stuff in this book but first off let me just say this woman on the front says we cook in some hot fresh deaths up in here holla now i have no idea what that means so i just took that as i don't know so I'm just going to flip to a random page. I'm going to do like, I don't know, five of these maybe. So I'm going to flip to a random page and see what, and put my finger on one and see what it says. All right. So the word, the word is Barbie moment, Barbie moment being, and the meaning is being completely stupid, acting like a fool, not remembering something. And then, um, the sentence says one plus one equals three. Oops, I had a Barbie moment. Literally never heard of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, stop. Okay, literally this one is me. Okay. Lock block. <laughs> That's the word. And the definition is when one person prematurely tries to open the passenger door on a vehicle while the driver simultaneously tries to unlock the door, causing it to relock and keep the passenger outside. Like, you are so eager to get inside the car, you just keep opening, the, like, when it's locked, and then the person is unlocking it, and it just, no, it just locks. Okay, here is the sentence for this word. Guy number one, hey man, get in the car already, it's cold out here. Guy number two. I should probably be reading these like a guy. It's probably gonna be bad. I've been trying to, but you're locked. Wait, but you've locked blocked me like five times in a row, man. Wow, that was the worst man voice I've ever heard. Anyway, great. I have no idea what this says, but Blondarage. Blondarage. I'm guessing that's what that is. An entourage of attractive scantily clad young bl blonde women who accompany a high profile male celebrity to public events. Okay, makes sense, but I've never heard of it called that. Hugh Hefner is amazing. I saw him, what? Mm -mm. I saw him out last night, what? I can't read. I saw him out last night with seven blonde bunnies. He's got quite a blonde garage. What? These literally, these definitions are literally like, don't even make sense sticker on my hand sorry whoever one who's seen that for street platinum i think i already said that selling 100,000 units of independently produced cds and tapes selling mixtapes and original music productions out of the back of their ride a what ride a lot what mm -mm. ride a lot dj woo kid and 50 cent before he was signed to a major label average cost of a mixtape is ten dollars and ten dollars times 100,000 units equals one million dollars Street Platinum is selling mixtapes on the street, I guess, for ten dollars. Go buy that mixtape though. One more for this video. Bam. Deuces holding two f oh, this is definition one. Holding two fingers up and a gesture of the peace sign. Everybody knows what that means. Deuces. Deuces. Yeah. My stuff went street platinum without the strength of fitty or any major bala hyping my CD. Okay, this is very ghetto, I see. Like, but that's, but, you know, you go, got it. Multi-culty. <laughs> multi-culty, a person who is multiracial. Frank is a fine-looking multi-culty brother. Wow. All right, that is going to be all I'm going to read for today. If you are interested in purging this, I can't talk. Purchase this stuff. Nope. Purchasing. No. Purchasing. Purchasing. Pur if you are interested in purchasing this book, it is called Mo o Urban Dictionary by. I don't know. Comply compiled by Aaron Peckham. So if you would like to get this book, 
yeah, just here's the cover so you guys can know what it looks like. Um, so I got that for $2 at a little bookstore that I used to love, but we don't have them in here anymore. So yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'm so sorry I haven't been making videos, but I do have them ready, planned. I know what I need to do. I just have to get in front of the camera and film them, so hopefully soon. Um, and also, with school and everything, is dragging me down. Nobody can drag me down um, to the floor with work and going places and not being able to have a chance. No excuses. No excuses. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because I will be making more and I'll see you guys next week with another new video. Bye. What? What?